MSI is known to produce some amazing laptops. Laptops that have a thin form factor like the Stealth series and laptops that have desktop performance like the Titan series. And then you got laptops that are a combination of the both. You know, the thinness, the performance, and of course, the cost. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about the brand new MSI GE76 What is basically the best laptop to handle about anything now when I say brand new It's kind of like me saying that the Asus G14 is brand new because Aesthetically it hasn't really changed compared to previous models and not that I'm complaining But it's kind of would be nice to see something different from what we're used to Case and being, this computer, like last year's model, is only available in one color. It kind of would be nice if MSI maybe, maybe made a limited edition that came in a mercury gray or uh, a nice mercury white color. Now the dimensions are not bad for somebody who wants to cram both power and portability into one being. With this computer coming in at 25.9 millimeters thin and weighing 2.9 kg. Now I know, it is chunky, it is heavy, but that chunkiness and heaviness is basically where all the performance lies. Now on the front you find the traditional RGB bar, RGB bar, RGB, RGB light strip that you find on all radar laptops these days. And lifting the lid, you find that beautiful 17.3 inch display that comes in three configurations all to your choosing. So you can either go for the 360 Hertz Full HD, the 240 Hertz QHD, or the 120 Hertz UHD. And trust me, you have all the, you basically have the performance to drive all these displays to the max. All three options are IPS level displays. Now, between you and me, I think the QHD is the sweet spot. It's much better than 1080p, and I don't really see 4K on such a small screen. You're not gonna really notice the difference. I think QHD is where you will really find the difference on such a computer like this. Now, above the display, you find that 1080p webcam, which is so nice to have. And then the keyboard is made by SteelSeries, one of the best gaming brands, I guess, on the market. And of course, if for those people who still care about RGB, it's, it is per key RGB, so you have ultimate customization. You know, just if you want to have that RGB vomit straight in your face. Now, when it comes to I.O., you have plenty to get the job done. So you got one HDMI that can output 8K at 60 Hertz or 4K at 120 Hertz, one mini display port, three USB 3.2 ports, uh, one Ethernet, one SD card reader, and two USB-C, one of which is Thunderbolt 4. Now, with Intel introducing the new Alder Lake hybrid CPUs think of the M1 you know they both have uh, performance and efficiency cores it's not really surprised that they decided to make their debut on the GE 76 and let's find out why first off this computer can be specced up to the i9 12900H which is a 14 core 20 thread processor with a base clock speed of 3.3 gigahertz that can be turbo boosted to 5 gigahertz that's insanely powerful and then MSI has also coated the CPU in this uh, phase change liquid metal pad that basically changes from a solid to a liquid depending on the CPU temperature so let's say you're running hot then you can go to then it goes basically into liquid form and spreads between the CPU and the cooling block for better thermal dissipation next this computer can be specced up to the RTX 3080 Ti 16 gigabytes for unrivaled gaming performance and cooling both the CPU and the GPU is MSI's Cooler Boost 5 technology which consists of two fans and six heat pipes which of course, we'll keep your laptop cool, but I think at the cost of a lot of fan noise. The battery in here is 99 watt hours, which is impressive, but also necessary because Intel is notorious for being a power hog. So don't expect to have all day battery life because you just won't. Honestly, I can estimate you get around four to five hours of typical web usage. I'm talking Google browsing or just watching YouTube's, YouTube videos and nothing more. So in the end, this is a very impressive laptop, but not everything is perfect and this laptop is not an exception to that rule. So let's start off with number one. This laptop is crazy expensive. Okay, so the base model is gonna cost you around $1,600 and if you wanna spec it out to the 
max but not include a 4k or a qhd panel i'm talking like that i9 and that rtx 3080 you're going to be expected to pay around four thousand dollars for it that is crazy expensive for a bit of context a 4k alienware x17 is like two to three hundred dollars cheaper okay number two battery life sucks like even though like i said it's 99 one hours but even when you're not gaming you're going to be expected a daily usage of four to five hours of just web browsing somewhere that power has been sucked up and i don't really understand it because the apple m1 chips were made for the purpose of reducing power consumption you got both the performance and efficiency cores and intel's just don't and then number three this computer is loud now i understand when you're gaming of course those fans whirl up to keep everything cool but i'm talking along the lines of normal usage this thing is just crazy loud and i'm coming from a macbook pro right that thing handles editing like a dream and you hear nothing so be expected for that loud noise so in the end would i get it myself maybe the reason i say maybe is because despite what i just said this computer still is a gaming behemoth so if you have deep gaming pockets and you only care about performance then by all means get it but please you're going to be expected to pay for it and that is the end of the video guys and i'd like to thank you so much for watching it and i'd like to say a special thank you to my subscribers we just passed 500 subscribers on my channel and i really appreciate all the love and support you guys have given me i mean honestly the way i see it you guys are not just subscribing to my channel because you like my content you are investing in me and my channel that i produce newer and better content each and every time and that eventually i'll be able to give back to you you know it's like an investment paying off that's the way i see it and hopefully quite soon i'll be able to give back to you in the forms of giveaways contests what have you so yeah i like to thank you guys for subscribing and if you're new here and you want to show some support i suggest you give this channel a like and subscribe as well as click that notification about to be kept informed about my videos so anyway guys have a good one and see you in my next video cheers